23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Alex Bell. Here are some of the top stories making headlines today. Today, the superintendent of schools has ordered all schools across the 47 districts in Kern County to close its campuses by Wednesday. The district population consists of 190,000 students across 47 districts in Kern County. 73% of those students depend on schools for food. Over 30% live in poverty. Today, officials said they have multiple plans in place to assure students are receiving continuous education and food for those students in need. School officials say these closures are expected to remain in place until at least April 14th. And the Dow lost almost 3,000 points, its worst point drop in history. That adds up to almost 13%, the worst percentage point loss for the index since the infamous Black Monday on 1987. The Nasdaq is down more than 12%, while the losses at the S&P 500 were just below that level. The fall triggered a trading shutdown earlier in the day. And it's an important first step in finding a safe and effective vaccine for COVID-19. A participant in a coronavirus vaccine trial in the U.S. has been administered their first dose. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease is funding the trial and made the announcement today. The study aims to enroll a total of 45 healthy adults over a six-week time frame. Each participant will receive two injections about a month apart in varying doses. The study is meant to prove that the vaccine is safe and induces a desired response from the particip participants immune system. And we've been tracking a storm system making its way across Kern County this afternoon, and that will continue into the evening hours, potentially even the early morning hours on Tuesday. Now the valley getting hit hard with that heavy rain, but actually tracking snow in the mountains. So above 4,500 feet, you can expect up to eight inches of snow and at elevations down to 3,000 feet. So that does include the passes into Hatchapi as well as over the grapevine, anywhere from two to four inches. So expect travel delays if you are planning on heading to those areas and leave plenty of space between you and the car in front of you. Make sure that you are carrying extra food, water and blankets in your car just in case of any of those travel impacts. But this system is slowly going to be pushing east as we head into the remainder of the work week. So not ruling out the chance for showers and the potential for isolated thunderstorms on Tuesday. Just a 20% chance of rain on Wednesday and it will do be diminishing by Thursday. Dry for your Friday and yet another system moves in by the end of next weekend and into to early next week. And those are some of your top stories making headlines today. Good evening.